My name is William Crowder, 9014 Bryson Drive. I'm a professional geologist with 34 years experience in East Texas and North Texas. I'm professional geologist number 3009. I'm sorry all the, oh, some of the utility people are here because I visited the North Texas Municipal Water District. I visited the Sulphur River Basin Authority I'm trying to show them about a major fault that runs right under where they want to put the lake. It's the Talco Fault. It traps the Talco Field. But it's not an active fault. Stanley was wrong about that. It's an inactive fault with no quakes for over 80 years. What do you think happens when you stack 85 million tons of water on top of it? What happens to the Talco Field and those wells? All of that's been ignored. I'm a professional geologist. When I do a study, if I ignore the most important element of my study, I'm guilty of omissions, liability, negligence, and inaccountability. So where are these people? Are you listening to me back there, water people? I'm talking to you, because this is what you're ignoring. Yes, ma'am, I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to the other chubby guys that left. Well, I heard your talk, and you're for this lake, and you're ignoring the most important element, which is the Talco Fault. It's right here. Good. Can you hear me? Good. Now let's talk about what this is all about, because I researched a 429-page document last night. Not one word, not one sentence in there about the Talco Fault, but this is what they did say. One of the benefits of the Marvin Nichols Reservoir is that the water supply will be a permanent source with a water right from the TCEQ. It will not be a lease or a contract. They don't want the water. They want your land, so they own that water forever. There's no doubt of it. This is their words. This lake will never be built. I stake my professional reputation and my license to practice in Texas on it. People are not stupid, they're not apathetic, and they're no longer disconnected. Everybody has a way to find out what's going on. Leaving data out is the same damn thing as lying. So let's talk about the other reasons this isn't going to go in. Yesterday at Mount Pleasant, I said, if the dam breaks, who's got the responsibility? I learned after that meeting, it's the Sulphur River Basin Authority. They have no assets. $300,000, $400,000 for a feasibility study. How the hell are you going to pay restitution with that? BP had their screw up. I'm a petroleum geologist, but BP had the cojones. They had the deep pockets to come up with 15 to 20 billion dollars. Sulphur River doesn't have squat unless somebody gives it to them. All right, third thing, you can't sell this well to the citizens. Why can't? Because timber, I'll be honest, until yesterday at Mount Pleasant, I didn't know how, much, how vital timber was to that area. And for the mayor of Mount Pleasant and these other cities, to say, Mount Pleasant, Clarksville, Mount Vernon, to say it's great, they, they must have somebody, I don't know who's taking care of them, but they sure as hell are, aren't listening to the people that take care of them. Look at Cooper Lake. You're going to have all this real estate value. Go look at the mud hole called Cooper Lake. They are promised, they are promised, don't interrupt me with clapping because I'm going to get cut short. Said 80% of the water goes to Dallas, 20% goes to Cooper. Oh, but Cooper couldn't come up with $3 million to impound the water. So Cooper got screwed out of their land. They got screwed out of the water. Who gets the water from Cooper? Irving. Now let's talk about Cooper. How much water is going over the dam at Cooper yesterday morning? Four cubic feet a second. There's more water going out of the urinal today than that. Okay, that lake is dead and it's a swamp, swamp hole. Okay, the third thing, tax income laws. That's where we're going to get. All right, let me drop it to one thing more. I go to church every Sunday in a little place called Cuthand, Texas. You heard our Mr. minister here yesterday. Oh, first I got to tell you, this is where River Crest School is right there. Look what they lose. 30% of their, it cuts their district in half. There's four high schools in Red River County. River Crest is a star. 702 kids, 702 parents. I guarantee it last. Mr. Jim Parks of Region C in the North Texas Water District said, there's just a few sentimental owners, uh, landowners that resist this. He's a goddamn liar. That's the truth. I'm just sorry. That's the way it is. The other thing he said is there's no science that we, we just don't have enough data. They don't want to see the real data. Last 30 seconds. Here's Talco. I mean, excuse me. Here's Cuthand, Texas. Here's our church. Do you think these are a bunch of booger-picking rednecks with thumbs growing out of their chest? Let me tell you what. They just paid off a $327,000 mortgage in 28 months. There's about 50 people live in Cuthan. 200 people attend church there every Sunday. We pull in 60 kids every Wednesday night. Where do they come from? I don't know. But they come to Cuthan United Methodist Church. So don't bull. Don't blow 
blow smoke up my ear and tell me it's not, you know what I mean. That's the last thing. Oh, one last thing. I saw Miss Willie walk in from Texarkana. Lovely black woman I met last night. And I told her last night, I dare them to try to build a lake south of Dallas and piss off and displace 30 to 50,000 brothers because Al Sharpton, Obama, and Jesse Jackson be down here kicking their ass. Thank you. <laughs>